I'm David Schwartz. My key responsibility in Schwartz Excavations are construction manager, owner, operator. Our main work is local council, SA Power, we do a lot of work for them and a few private subdivisions like the one you're standing on now. Schwartz Excavations, we employ 15 people currently. Most of our work's up in the Adelaide Hills here and just my wife and myself started the business 27 years ago. Our fleet consists of about 30 machines, probably a few more than what we need, but they're there when we need them and the majority of them are all cat. Our relationship with our cab power dealers and particularly Ian has been, oh, it must be close to 20 odd years now. We get on quite well and we've bought quite a few machines off them. Hi, I'm Ian Lambon from Cav Power. I've known David for coming on for 20 years, I think. And look, David's a very good operator. David, he'll give you honest feedback. The service and the backup is really important to us and the service and backup we get from Cav Power is really good. So I'm really happy with it. There's a lot of features in this machine that the customer can preset, or the dealer can preset for the customer as well. It's going to make his life a lot easier. One thing we've really noticed with the CAT 320 Next Gen is the fuel efficiency. I'd say we haven't done the, the numbers on yet because it's been working remote, but I'd say we're up to about 20-25% fuel saving. Fuel saving is paramount at the moment in the world. So there's a lot of savings we had on fuel, a lot of savings we had on downtime and maintenance. Yeah, safety features I think is a real key factor in where Caterpillar is going in the world with everything they produce. The safety features on that with the rear view camera and there's the e-fence accessibility off the ground so we can check all the oils off ground level which is a really good safety feature. That is a big challenge with any construction business is, is safety. The older machines, the, the e was just starting to get into that technology and we've also got a D and a C which the technology we can see is getting more and more and, and better and better each model that we've got. Next gen excavator is more comfortable to sit in the seat and it is like an armchair. <laughs> Everything in the cab is operator friendly. All the controls are right in front of you with the screen in front of you. The new touch screen on the next gen is something which was completely new to us and admittedly the first couple of days we thought, what have we done? But it's turned out to be a huge bonus for it. The machine is like a new, it is like a sports car. It's, it's really comfortable to operate. The next generation excavator, their, their, their approach and the path they've got down with technology is just an awesome bit of gear. You need to get in front of it and see it to understand it. The impact of the new technology on construction projects, it's got to be a cost saving, improved productivity and um, yeah, that's one thing we're really looking forward to and delivering the jobs quicker. The biggest challenges, especially on sites, is to keep the machines serviced regularly and, and, and up to date. The ease of the next gen, the ease of serviceability, we can service it on site, no problem. One thing we did notice at first, we thought the breakout forces weren't as good as the older machine, but that's because the engine is so quiet and it's matched so well to the hydraulics that the breakout forces are far up on the older machines for sure. One of the big things customers can do for safety improvement is planning. That's one of the biggest things I'll find in, in our situation. We try and plan everything that we do well in advance and make sure the operators are well trained and skilled before they even come to the site. Just the total change in technology, a total change in how CAD have approached it with electric being the main factor, the controls, the ergonomics, everything laid out on a touch screen or a toggle, a press start key. There's a lot of things in these machines where the operator for the first time is going, wow, this is daunting. I can guarantee by the end of the day they're going, this is great. I think the construction industry has been slow to the new technology available. It's probably a cost one is one big one and it is a big jump to go from the old string lines and spirit levels to the new technology. But the new technology is something, the GPS technology is something that we're looking forward to going into more and more and we're looking forward to the challenges of enhancing all of that over the next few years.